Good day, students, and welcome to today's episode of Doceri by me, Mr. Cogswell. Today's episode will focus on close reading, which is da 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 da, reading with a pencil. We are going to annotate on top of text. First of all, let's talk about what is close reading. When do we use close reading? Well, sometimes when we're reading, we have difficult understand in the text that we're reading. It's heavy lifting for our brains. But with close reading, it gives us some reading muscles to help us better understand the text. We look in the text, rereading and analyzing it very carefully. And we dig deeper into the text to really strengthen our understanding. So close reading is broken down into three phases. In the first phase, we're going to just scratch the surface and take a look at the gist of the text, the big picture. In the second phase, we are going to dig a little bit deeper and really show our understanding of the text by looking at our details, the details that confuse us within the text. And finally, in the third phase, we are really going to take a look at the evidence to be able to really understand what the text is about. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look on what is phase one, gist. Everybody say gist for me. Great. In the first phase, what we're going to do is we will read, I will read for the gist or the big picture for a basic understanding. We really want to know what we're reading about, get an idea of the topic and the big ideas to get our brain prepared for digging deeper. Then when we move on to phase two, we're going to look at the details and we're really going to focus on particular details. As you can see here, we're really going to focus on, I reread to understand confusing details to better understand the text. So we're really focusing on the confusing details. And a lot of time, this is where our pencil is doing lots of annotations, figuring out what we are trying to understand. Finally, when we show good understanding of the text, we're going to move on to phase three. And in phase three, we're going to go ahead and look at the evidence. I find evidence in the text to show my understanding. We are going to be posed some questions and we're going to have to really go back and reread again to find the answers or to support our opinion to show what we really know. So again, there are three phases in close reading. The first phase is looking at the gist, the big picture. The second phase is really making sure that we understand any of the confusing details in this text, the little pieces that may confuse us. And finally, in the third reading, we are going to look for evidence. We are going to take a fine-tooth comb looking at the text to support our opinions or show what we know. So now, boys and girls, you should be ready for the next close reading.